we don't have Halloween pumpkin in Nigeria. At least in the part of Nigeria where I come from. I come from Igbo land in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Down there, what we have is Anyo, which is fluted pumpkin. We call it fluted pumpkin because the leaves of the vegetable that come from it has a hollow stalk. As you can see, it's exactly the same shape as this Halloween pumpkin. But while that one is green, this one is orange. Until recently, I didn't even know that this is edible. <laughs> I only knew it as something that you used to carve shapes during Halloween. Until I saw a recipe. I've been meaning to try it. And finally, finally, yes. And I'm going to prepare it with a recipe from Igbo land. Yeah, using all the ingredients from Igbo land. Oh, I haven't shown you the ingredients. Here are the ingredients i'll be using you can buy all these ingredients in african food shops in the major cities of the world maybe except this one i'll tell you what to use in a minute so the main the main ingredient the halloween pumpkin if you're in nigeria use anyo like i've said this is spinach in nigeria use ogu or fluted pumpkin leaves the leaves from the anyo the nigerian version of this one you have yam. This is puna yam, African yam. It's white. You can use potatoes if you don't have yam. This is palm oil, red palm oil from the palm tree. Salt, habanero pepper, red onion. I recommend red onion for the taste to come out. Then this is shredded oil bean. Obaka or oba, depending on the Igbo dialect. You get the oil bean seed, cook it for hours, and then slice it like this. If you don't have this, use sliced sauteed mushrooms it will give you similar texture and close enough taste first we peel the yam cut it into small cubes it's advisable to add it to cool water so it doesn't change color This one is not as hard as the uh, butternut squash. Mm. Oh, Benet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it has seeds, pumpkin seeds, which you can roast or toast and eat. You can also use it to prepare something that looks like a goosey soup. Same way you peel the yam. See how it floats in water. <laughs> how many cups does it contain per 100 grams? Because the way it's floating, man. <laughs> As if there's nothing in it like I don't know. <laughs> Rinse the yam because you know it's a root crop, so the peels are dirty. Put some water to boil. Chop the onions. Chop the pepper. Not me testing the cooking times of these two items over here. You know, when I tell you guys that this, my kitchen is a lab, a physics, chemistry, biology lab, you people will be laughing. Look at me testing it here while I'm waiting for the water to boil over here. <laughs> testing over. This one is boiling. From my test, both of them have pretty much the same cooking times. That cooked in uh, 15 minutes. And the yam actually got done first, to my surprise. The pumpkin is still a little bit not moist to my liking. That's contrary to how Anyu, the one we have in Nigeria, behaves. Anyu is so soft and cooks in no time. So that's actually why I wanted to test it to see which one I'll start cooking first. But since both of them have the same cooking times, I'm adding them at the same time. I want a situation where the water dries up by the time these two are cooked. So like I always say, start with same level of water. So I'm going to take out some hot water. 
so i get to see like and i tasted the pumpkin it's actually tasteless i'm happy that i'm cooking it with yam because yam has a lot of taste so bear that in mind in case you want to prepare only pumpkin it doesn't have any taste it's, uh, like anu anu is very tasty on its own start cooking yes yeah, so i wash all my vegetables again these vegetables are labeled as washed but i wash all of them again the other day someone was telling me i'm happy that you wash your vegetables again i said who doesn't i mean <laughs> yeah i wash my vegetables already no this is industrial washing there's no way they will wash it like human washing <laughs> yes i'm removing the stuff <laughs> I don't like seeing this in my food. Chop the vegetables. <laughs> I nearly forgot to say that. So, it's 15 minutes since I started cooking this one. So, this is the first time I'm checking it. Just based off of the cooking time of the other one. And it's actually almost done. But this pumpkin don't like the texture yet so I'll continue cooking I always remove the excess water from the spinach to make it more palatable all that water in the green color usually ruins my recipes if I don't do that see all that water not needed This is 300 grams of spinach reduced to this. <coughs> spinach is just water. See that greenish. Add the paka. Some salt. Add the palm oil. Once it melts, add the onions. Stir for a bit. Click the like button. Have you? Have you? <laughs> Add the pepper. Mm. Red palm oil has this delicious flavor. Hey! Oh my god! Stir, stir, stir. You know that this meal is actually vegan. Hey! I didn't even realize that. I'm just thinking about the ingredients now. And so far, it's vegan. It's now been 25 minutes, actually, since I added it. And it's perfect. It's moist. Everything is moist. So, yeah. So it's five minutes, exactly. And still has a lot of water because this... What do you call it? This pumpkin doesn't have any... I don't know if it has starch at all. I'm going to look up the carbs content because, man, if it were the one yam alone that I'm cooking, they would, it would have absorbed all this water. So I'm going to pour out the water over there. There's still some water in here. I don't want it to be completely dry, dry, dry. I want some level of moistness, moistness there. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. Halloween pumpkin, I got a one. I'm going to taste for salt. Man, look at how moist that is. Delicious and it's done. Oh, pokery toe. As I expected, it's yummy. Ooh.